Yo, what's up, guys? Axel Fox Ninja here, and we are back in our video. And welcome to what I believe is the finale of Undertale. We've come a long ways. Part 14, I think. Woo! Well, let's get get some water first, and um, let's just jump right in this. Um, huh, it's weird because I'm playing in my bedroom right now. Cause like usually I'm in my sister's room when I have my laptop. Cause like I just chill in there pretty much. So she, she's she gone off the college, pretty much, so, you know, there's that, and I just pretty much put everything in that, well, like, all my tech in her room, and I don't know, I might record in there sometime, but for now, we're just recording in here. Um, so, um, with that introduction out of the way, we're just gonna jump right in. All right. And I don't have my mouse right now, because uh, it's in the other room. <laughs> so, uh -oh. Back so soon. How are you feeling? Um, well, we've done what we can. Let's do this. I see. This is it, then. I'm pretty sure this is the voice I gave him. I'm not entirely sure. Ready? Here we go. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with DETERMINATION! I'm gonna need my charger. <laughs> okay, I know that was random, but... Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh! <gasps> Goat Mom! What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized, I cannot allow that. Yeah, I can't allow you to make your own choices. Nah, uh, I, I get it. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. I mean, okay, that is pretty good reasoning. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, oh, he's probably like right there, isn't he? He deserves mercy too. Here, I'm gonna get my charger cord because <laughs> I don't, I don't trust this for now. Um, did I read this? He deserves mercy too. Okay, yeah, probably. Tori, you came back. Do not tory me, dreamer, you pathetic whelp. If you really want to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Well, to be fair, he did have it pretty harsh, so... I am a miserable creature, but do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Oof, rejected. Nah, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other. <laughs> oh, are you another friend? I am Torio. Hello. <laughs> so nonchalant. Uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced 
to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did that score shave? <laughs> and clone himself? <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? That, that voice. Hello, I think we may know each other? Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is nice, so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowee! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> hey, hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles. <laughs> They're just up there, just chatting. No, silly. A skeleton tiles its roof with... Shingles! I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! <laughs> Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. S sometimes you just got to, uh... Stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish? It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my gosh! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Jeez, I didn't know my fan base was that crazy. Hey! Shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alfie's? Uh, Alfie's? Has <laughs> Cora's eyes. No, no. He's right. Let's d do it! Uh, well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Uh, uh, oh. Wait! Not in front of the human. What? How old am I? Uh, right. S sorry, I got a little carried away there. Hehehe. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you will be happy here. H hey that reminds me. P Pyrus, you, you called everyone here, right? Oh, this was a family gathering or something? Or just, uh, potluck? Or I don't know. Wait, are we gonna- are we gonna eat, like, dinner or something? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A t tiny flower? Oh, shoot. Oh, that, that, that no good. That no good. Oh, hey, don't, do, don't, don't. You idiots! Oh, you guys are having your little powwow here. I took the human souls. Oh, it's this crap again. Okay. I'll defeat you. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. Hee hee hee. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. Um, well, you made them me love them. I don't know. That. I mean, he, t he said to get the better ending, so not my fault. Your fault. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the human souls together, I will achieve my real form. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. What would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over. And over. And over. <coughs> <coughs> okay, that's actually hard in my throat. Hee hee hee. Listen, 
If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will be f will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Oh. Oh. Even if it means killing you a, a million times. Oh, great. Oh, I see. The power of, uh, oh, T Toriel? <gasps> Wait, is it the sun? Is it the sun that did that? Did the su is the sun protecting me? Um, Azrael, his name. What? <laughs> Do not be afraid, my ch Oh, it was Toriel. Do not be afraid, my child. I thought, well, that would have been normal, but, like, yeah, I could see how this works. No matter what happens, you will always be there to protect you. That's alright, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way. Huh? You still haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weird's got nothing on you. Yeah, power of friendship. T technically, it's impossible for you to be- Okay, wow. <laughs> Don't tell me the odds. B but somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Oh, isn't that what he said to his child? We're with you, you can do this, you got one ribbon. <laughs> ah, no! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You! You! Uh oh. I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! Not the frog! Oh, I mean, I could care about everyone else, but the frog! Frog it. Whatever. Oh, for a second I thought, um, wait, what? I, th I thought, like, it was gonna lag everything out. Oh. Hello? Doing a little chuckle there? Finally! I was so tired of being a flower. <gasps> Howdy! Axel, are you there? It's me! Your best friend! It's the kid! Azriel. Oh! Oh! This makes so much sense, but not at all. Um. It's the end. Check, hope, dream, okay. Infinite attack, infinite defense. Being legendary being made of every soul in the underground. Ooh. Ah. It's Whoa. Okay. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Whoa. Eek! E. Surprisingly- oh, I took damage, dang it. Oh, this is uh, some freaking awesome music, bro. You kept holding on. Damage reduced! You know... I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Ah. Azrael calls on Chaos Saber. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Why would you do that? Um. Ooh, uh. Okay, why am I not calling this as easy? Ooh. We got. Uh. uh Oh, great. Um, Snow Peace. I wonder if I get achievement for keeping it all the way to the end, so let's, let's drink the CD. CT. 
Let's go. Thank you, Gerson. All your progress. Everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Again, why would you do that? I mean, I know you want to play the game, but... Oh. That's probably bad. But, <gasps> but it refused. I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> okay, I better, I better not go that cringy. I don't want to get disliked as much as the YouTube Rewind. Okay. Oh, did I restart the battle? Okay, at least I'm getting the attack better. What's Dream do? Think about why you're here now. Feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Okay, it's back to this. Okay, not that bad. Okay. Azrael charges shocker breaker. Okay, wait, what? Wait, oh yeah, it said something about my last stream. Oh, okay. So I don't need that yet. Damage reduced. Nice. Ready's Azrael ready star blazing. Alright. Oh, this is just some dope music right here. Then we can do everything all over again. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh gersh. That's not that bad. Ready's Chaos Buster. Hey, it's your boy Buster. Oh no. Buster Baxter from Arthur. <laughs> oh, if everyone anyone remembers that show. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Um, like, I mean I don't really have a choice. Oh. Oh. Not that bad. Okay, oh. Meh. Oh no. You know, I'll eat the pie. You ate the birth scotch pie, your HP was maxed so. out. And then you'll lose to me again. Okay. Okay, not that hard. I kind of don't like how his head moves, like, don't. Donk. Like, it's a little ragdoll physicky. <laughs> oh, I'm still healing. And again. Okay. Okay. Oh, frick. Shocker Breaker 2. The sequel. <laughs> Electric. Wait, no, what was it called? Shocker Breaker 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> that would kind of go along with the theme a little bit. Um, let's eat, eat the quiche for lunch. You eat the quiche. And again! Ah! Ready's Galacta Blazing. The sequel. <laughs> because you want a happy ending. Oh yeah, it is improved. I think? Oh, gee. Chaos Slicer. Because you love your friends. I do like what they're playing at, at this though. Ready's Chaos Blaster. Alright, wait, that's the other one, isn't it? Because you never give up. <laughs> Is he doing this the whole time? Maybe. Oh. Oh, yay. Okay, I guess we're still in this. Okay, this one's a little bit easier. Okay. 
Chaos Slicer. Okay, we're back to that. Dream. You think about why you're here. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I can't believe you've done this. If I just... Okay, nope. I have to move. Boom. Okay, I'll slice her. Damage reduced. Chaos Blaster. Astronaut food! The power of the stars! Oh, I didn't see that one. Goodness. I, I suck at this. Oh, are we back to this attack again? Dang it. I just completely suck at this. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I'm... This is really interesting. Okay, back to this. <laughs> Chaos Blaster. Alright, let's see... Starfay! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How did I get hit by that? Why am I still getting hit? Why is this happening? Do I just not want to take damage then? Well, I already took damage, so that's great. Okay, well, I'm still healing, so that's probably good. No. Okay. Okay. Why do I keep running into it? Gosh darn it. Um. Glamburger. Okay. Ah. Ready, Shocker Breaker 2. Isn't that delicious? Your determination. The power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. Okay. Azrael Ready's Hyper Goner. I might want to eat something. Your determination, the dream came true. HP was maxed out. Now, enough messing around! Oh no. You're gonna go Super Saiyan? It's time to purchase Timeline once and for all. Mmm. Uh-oh. One HP! Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, <laughs> you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Become Chungus. <laughs> oh, I'm ruining this, aren't I? <laughs> All I can think about is memes. Um, Oh, I can't do- I literally can't do anything else. Struggle. Can't move your body. ha 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 Behold my true power. Oh. oh, balls. Can I- okay, I'm back to 20. Can't move your body. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you.
the whole world is ending. Dang, they, they straight up tell me. Okay, jeez. Can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That too will serve you well in your next life. Um, check the webcam. Okay, everything's going good still. Oh, okay. Well, I think this is just basically me just going through dialogue right now. Can't move your body. You're a ha ha ha. Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Is it like zoning in on me or something? Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. Oh yeah! Let's go! Uh... Sans! <laughs> oh no, I couldn't help you. Reach out to your Azrael's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Hello friends, the lost souls appear. Uh, puzzle. You asked the lost soul for help with the puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. I must capture a human. Just give up. I did. <laughs> the lost souls stand there. You insulted the lost soul. Somehow, it seems flattered. It seems flattered by this. Then everyone will. Then everyone will. Why even try? Oh, okay, this is weird. The lost soul stands there. The lost soul stand at that joke. I told the lost soul it, a lost soul a bad joke about skeletons. He seems to hate it. The other lost soul seems to like it. We'll never see him again. Alright, I've been working on Papyrus. Let's see. Take break. Judgment. Uh, you forgot an E in that also. <laughs> um, crossword. Ooh, crossword. Tell the boss you think that crosswords are tougher than jumble. And not to tell, like it knew this without question. No, wait! You're on my friend! I could never catch you. Nah, no, I'm rude for you. something faintly resonating within Azrael. Oh wait, no, why am I fighting him? Um, um, go mom or go dad. Um, go dad. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. <gasps> They're together too! Talk, mercy, hug, preference, okay. Tell the lost soul that you're going to save everyone. Something stirs deep within him. Forgive me for this. This is for your own good. I hear orchestra bells, or concert bells, whatever they are. It's amazing. Stare? That would be kind of creepy. Mercy. Tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. No one will leave again. This is my duty. The lost souls stand there. Toriel, um... Hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Hug, ha hug goat dad too. Suddenly, his memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. What? Oh. 
Oh, oops. <laughs> I did a thing. Game, game, um, it, um, I don't know. I still have snow piece, that's all that matters. <laughs> um, I'll go with Alkies. Then the depths of the Azrael soul, something's resonating. Oh, it's just Alfie's. Oh, and she's in her dress! Courage, call, nerd out. Call. You call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. She doesn't know why, but this all seems very familiar. You hate me, don't you? No! I want to save you! Come to me, friend. Okay, no. no. Also, it's Metaton- Oh, because I never really fought her. I only fought Metaton, so... Turned out. You asked the lost soul for help on a quiz question. She barely holds back from giving you the answer. I've got to keep lying. Lost soul stands there. Encourage. You tell Lost Soul that you'll continue to support her. Suddenly, she remembers. It's all flooding back. N no, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Oh. Dang it! I keep pressing the same button. Undying. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something is resonating. The lost soul appeared. Recipe. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. All humans will die! Clash. You clashed against the lost soul with all of your might. She feels your fighting spirit. It's familiar somehow. You're our real enemy. Smile. You gave lost soul a big smile, like your member she likes to do. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Feel your friend's souls resonating with the Nazareth. Stop. Okay, stop. Someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out. <laughs> You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? anyone stop it get away from me do you hear me I'll tear you apart Axel do you know why I'm doing this why I keep fighting to keep you around Special, Axel. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Axel. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm 
not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this. And just let me win. Stop it. Stop it now. Axel. I'm so alone, Axel. I'm so afraid, Axel. Axel, I... I... I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Axel? I know. You're not actually Axel, are you? Who am I? Axel's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's... A nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I, la I lacked the power to love other people. However, there were own souls inside me, and I only have my own compassion back. But I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much, and they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sands, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they are they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. Oh, I thought, like, a bomb went off or something. Sorry to ruin your day, okay. There's no excuse for what I've done. Oh, forgive him. What? what? Oh, <laughs> oh, no, did I hit Windows? Frisk, come on. Sorry, I'm ruining this, I know. I'm ruining this. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me... I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Oh, dang! Oh, he is going Super Saiyan. He literally is going Super Saiyan right now. I mean, if there was... Wait, oh, it's just the six souls plus all the monsters. Seven. Oh, because all the monster souls equal one human soul. Also, technically, he is going Super Saiyan because of the seven. The barrier was destroyed. Boom! We did it, boys! Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? I need to run my fan, sorry. Just go be with the people you love. Sorry, but it is actually getting really hot in here. Comfort- why wouldn't I comfort him? Aww. Aww. <sighs> I don't- 
don't want to let go. Frisk. You were... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Aww. I will. What? Oh. Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, am I back in her? Oh. I, that would have been, like, the weirdest transition if, like, I was back at her house. Like, it was all just a dream, and I just stayed with her. Like, back at, um, her home in the ruins. That would have been interesting, though. Oh, you are awake, thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer, and I would have freaked out. Until this next time you decide to make it. Decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you make Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! <laughs> no, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? Okay, stop judging him, Toriel. Go, Dad is amazing. They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I'm not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, Perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait here for you. Um, start from right then. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. Oh, you're you're fine, big fella. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. <laughs> I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I bet Toriel's going over there like... Just giving him the, the stink face. Psst. Fr Frisk! Um, you gotta tell me. D do you think Asgore and Toriel are... Uh, are we gonna get back together? Nah. She, she, she is... Mm, actually... She, she just probably has a lot of years of hate. But since they do live a really long time, it is possible. So, I have hope. Y yeah, yeah, that's what I hope too. Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one chip of all time. Tori and Gory. <laughs> My, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. I wonder why. So, Alphys. Alphys. What do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. L well, of course I'm going to go out and, um... No, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit! Everyone! A celebration to being losers! Well, technically we're winners. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing the Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me. Aww. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um... What's an... Anime? <laughs> oh my gosh! Frisk, 
Please, help me explain what Amite is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... With s swords, definitely. So, it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. <laughs> Where is this? Where can I see the anime? <laughs> how he phrased it. The anime. <laughs> Hold on, I, I think I have some on my phone. H here, look at this. You got Full Metal Al Alchemist, or My Hero Academia, or Attack on Titan, or any of that? Huh? Oh, uh, um, that's the, that's the wrong, um, never mind. Coley, are those two robots kissing? <laughs> Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? Was it Metaton and someone else? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. So, as Asgore... Er, so, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Okay, do you want me to go back and kill everyone? I could do that. Frisk, Tori was telling me how she made beef scotch pie for you. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Oh, that sounds really good. Cooking? Can I help? Oh, wait a second. Can I help too? Certainly. It would be fun to cook together. Mm. On second thought, maybe I will order pi a pizza. Yeah. Hello, Frisk. Office upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Oh. Uh, frick, I opened Windows. Sans, check out this one. Oh, man. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned, and also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet o you two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Were we not, Papyrus? We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Ah, 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 wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why, then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Oh, you can, you can enjoy it if you want, Papyrus. Can I call him here? No response. Their phone might be out of batteries. Oof. Notice you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sons and Alfies are teaching me how to text. I'm learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? <laughs> Please look at this. <laughs> now turn your head to the left. Oh, it's a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toria. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive another. <laughs> Wait. I'll send you a message. Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you are not getting into trouble. Only kidding. Uh, lol. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. That's interesting. So, can I just go back to the whole place? Um, I don't need to keep saving, really. But I'm just gonna walk around for a bit. Uh, just cause I can. I like how the music still plays even through all here. Can I talk to everyone? Um, are you guys on your phone? Cause I'll catch up with you later. Right. Good news! The elevator started working again. But now it's been bu so busy, we still haven't gotten a chance to ride it. Is that gonna be, like, mentioned in the sequel? The elevator is in use, still? As a slime, I'm overjoyed. 
Oh, it's Matt, er, Burger Pants. What can I do for you, little buddy? Freedom. Take it from me, little buddy. So we're free, huh? Matt's only told us as much. Then he told me, don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Uh, my boss. I love that guy. And by that mean, and by that, I mean I hate him so, so much. Those girls? The ones who saw my pants fall down? Well, we're all gonna be free, so I'll never see them again, at least. Oof. Wait, didn't I, like... Wait, didn't I do a thing to, like, get them together? Dang it, I don't know. Yeah. Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working out. Just working this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. I don't know, I'm in a chill mood, so I don't know whose voice I'm doing. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <laughs> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally, in this case. Oh, pfft. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, I probably could have sold something, but... Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time, or ever again. Oh, that's kind of depressing. Oh, jobs are gonna be annoying. Sorry, the resort's shine down, but I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Hey. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, let's talk to them. So, we're like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Yeah, like, cool. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, millennia being in prison finally over. Yeah, that's, like, a pretty chill, I guess. I'm... Oh, oops. Really? Uh, well, when we said, um, <coughs> we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was, but Bratty's the best and Cat is the coolest. Um, no. We've like literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? Hmm. Now that we're gonna be free. OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like, your dream, Caddy. But Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after- Oh, Caddy. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. Me? Yeah, I love cats, okay. They're like, so tasty. They're like, so cute. Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day, there was this cute little white cat walking around. It was, like, so clueless looking. I pet it for, like, an hour. Catty. Yeah, Braddy. I think that was, like, a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> So, like, thanks, but we look like really. Oh, they sailed. Oh, I can uh, still. Oh. Oh, I can buy this mystery key. Here, you, you go get some money for the surface. I'm donating some. I'm so excited to sell an ice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think it'll be pretty popular. Yeah, I enjoyed it. And then told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Pete's Flamesman, how are you? What? Do you want a rematch? Uh... Question mark? Tra-la-la, care for a ride. Ride the boat? Yeah. Uh, let's take a tour through the waterfall really quickly. <laughs> I 
Chalala. Somewhere, it's Sunday, so be careful. That is so creepy. It's actually Sunday today while I'm recording this. That is so freaky. Also, it took some time to get this because I want to have enough time to do it. Because, come again sometime, Chalala. Because I'm going through everything. Cause, just because I want to. Wahaha, <laughs> I knew you could do it. Puffy Buns, why? <gasps> we get the story! Oh. Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. It was the monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving her par on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. <laughs> the audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone. Expression, stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is history. <laughs> oh, is Asgore a goat? Eh, a goat? Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore <laughs> He's not even talking about a flower pattern of Mumu. Folks kept saying nice Mumu to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right, Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster. The strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. Oh, so that's how they were around so long. Uh, Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age. Probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that won't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Oof. Okay. Oh, that actually makes sense. That actually explains the entire story. That actually helps explain the entire story. Asgore and Toriel. Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was queen, and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. Since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. <laughs> well, it's also just a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? Uh, let's see if we're really insufferable together. Nuzzle knows us being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. Her so sweet and made me sick. Thank gosh those days are over. Wow, jerk. <laughs> And then she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself, back in the old days, Gerson the Hammer of Justice. She was younger, and then would follow me around to watch me be a bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help, though most of the time the folks she attacked weren't bad guys, It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, you don't like to get them bills, junk mail. <laughs> Thou shall not give me junk mail. Uh. Right in the boat. Oh wait, there's still more waterfalls in there. Perhaps another time, or perhaps not, it really doesn't matter. North Blick Acres, East Hollow. Huh, I wonder what it'd be like if a person was right here. Totally not referencing something that happens in the Switch version. So, you help get us all free? I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. <laughs> Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> well, how is fire doing? <gasps> Yay! Oh, Medicine. I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi. Human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on, when I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light out of my window. I saw a snail on the farm disappear. I heard a knock at the door. A flash of light wanted to come in. Close the blinds. <laughs> now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. What's your name? Your name? Frisk. I didn't forget. Because I cried the letters into my hand. Aww. There you are, Frisk, darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alfie's completed my wonderful new body. 
Oh, and did you hear? The barrier is open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming trope. So far, Shiren's, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. You sing? Because the ampl ampl Napster block here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? That sounds nice. But why is she the backup singer? Isn't she the normal singer? Because does Metaton sing? I mean, in Undertale, musical he does, but it's locked. Wait, <gasps> can I use... Use a mystery key. The red house door was unlocked. Key to speak. I get to actually see it! Dear Diary, Shine's sister fell down recently. Oh! Oh, that's depressing. Okay. Oh, she was the amalgamate! It's so sad. Her daughter's sister speak for her. She's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Luki, and I should all perform together sometime. That's where the nickname comes from. She seemed to like the idea. idea. Dearest Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Huh. Dearest Diary, my cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blucky and I. Blucky asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal, too. They sounded so... resigned. Come on, Blucky. You know I'd never leave you behind. Besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. Uh, oh, I see how this happened. My darling diary. I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted an advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork. And she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. She's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. <laughs> dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I can finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blucky. My dreams can't wait for anyone. That's sad, but it does explain some things. And yay, everything worked out anyway, so... Wait, the snails are all gone? No, they're still here! Using its money, the snail bought a hat. But I don't see it. The housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. <laughs> is it actually on this heart, or...? Snail Snail, you reached the end of your extensive journey. Snail Snail, what a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. It's a snail. You wonder if Toriel has seen it. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good? Okay. I mean, I'm sorry this is going on for so long, but I just. So easy. Just, uh, just get, dive right into it. Let's go to Snowden, yay! Tra -la -la, care for a ride. I'm glad I got the story about, um, uh, King Fluffy Buns. <laughs> like, ooh, Toriel, what, what were you thinking? Tra -la -la, I heard Asgore as a favorite food. Is it butterscotch cinnamon pie? Perchance. Come again sometime. Tra -la -la. Oh hey, the wolf's here. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. Good for you, buddy. I support your decisions to buy pants. Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans. Okay. Monsters play monsters and humans. Do they just call it humans and humans? 
Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new, boundless world. Waha, this adventurous spirit. I'm like a kid again. My children are like double children. Ah, what a beautiful knock. If I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Ah. You gonna come out and... Okay, never mind. Oh, we're free? Finally, I'll be able to stop smiling. <laughs> That's actually really depressing. Looks like I don't have any... Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Well, good for you. You can do whatever you want now. Her doctor always told the king and queen the awful things she's done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. Wow! Jeez! Toriel, okay, why? Okay, this is why I like Asgore more. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. I'll, I'm not so sure if I like Toriel anymore, guys. Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well. Guess it can't be all punk, punk peaches and s s punk cream. <laughs> I wonder if the overworld has hot guys and neat drinks. Ooh, I'm ready. Soon, I'll be able to try some human food. And then, I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. They are quite exquisite. Especially the gold plat- gold- uh, plated ones. Plated ones. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grillby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. Huh! I didn't know that. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So okay, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with the fishing rod. Somewhere you, f you hear a whinny of dismay. It finally won a game of poker against itself. Wow. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kind of mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Nyah. That I love that. That was amazing. But Undyne is cool. You should still like Undyne. You should like all everyone, all my friends. They're all so cool. It'll be nice to show humans and our princes and under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. Hmm, something tells me they'll like it. That kid over there That kid over there told me that it's weird how I have pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on the leash, right? Okay. Uh, is anyone else weirded out by those two... By those giant shambling amalgamates, or... What? That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Hello. Sorry, no time for a nap. So stowed in and shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that, anyway? I don't want to move. Oh, me too, little buddy. Hello, traveler. Can I help you? I'm gonna see if I can go to the ruins. I know it's... It's already three for me. Oh, we've surpassed the hour mark. I don't care at this point. What happened? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light. That I, then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then, suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human? You can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Should I tell them or not? Is she here? The rooms have been opened up. And get this. They are open from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for gosh knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Yeah. Future. Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the world. I'm playing much more than that, I'm afraid. Alright, well you have fun. Bye now. Come again sometime. Um, what's over here? Oh, wait, wait, what was that? 
This mailbox is oh, okay. It's empty. Oh. Having an amorphous, shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. All of our parents have combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. <laughs> hey! Oh, t okay, that actually scared me because I didn't know why the music stopped. Okay, I'll talk to you in a second. But... Hmm. All our parents are the same entity. Does that mean I'm married to my sister? Okay, that's kind of... Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. Yeah, okay, okay, that actually... <laughs> oh my gosh, why isn't this... Why isn't that a meme? Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open. So make as much noise as you want. Let me guess, the same thing is gonna happen when they move to the surface that it's still gonna be library B. Great struggle, my life is over. I solved today's crossword. Nice. Oh my, there's so much news to report, I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 100 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? Um. I don't know. Would it just be like all the main characters? This will be our newspaper's latest issue. Why don't we just, or last issue? Why don't we just put a big the end on the front and call it a day? Oh, me too. That's how I would do it. Okay, well, I already went that way. Oh, that scared me. Can I go in Sansa's room yet? Locked, okay. How's this sink doing? Wait. I don't know, I just really like that. The sink is so tall you can't even wash your hands. Oh, I want to go in the sink. Because I know in the Switch version you can. It's it's actually pretty funny. It's locked from the inside. Alright, let's see what else there is in Waterfall. Last thing I heard over and over. It's an echo. Me, huh? I guess anything else or Okay, I guess that's it. Can I Nope. Okay, I guess we're going to towards the ruins then. So let's see, there is also there's Shiren. Okay, so if there's if there's the dog amount in Dogony, I'm guessing there's a Shiren one, the Reaper Bird one. Oh, that's probably all the way back in the core. I'm not do I'm not going that far, sorry. If I go this way. Ooh, I might find the snowy one though. Wait, did I Oh yeah, I there's a thing here I can go to. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Welcome to Snowden Town. <laughs> Nothing else. Uh, what else is there? Oh hey, it's Ice Cap. Maybe someone on surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people. Someone has to, right? Come on, dude. You gotta slow down there. Wait, Snow Puff. It's a snow puff. Uh, it is so pleasing to hear that. Hey, how are you? Everyone's leaving. Huh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. Oh, you might not want to be stuck down here. Um, can I go in here yet? It's a door. Ah. I cannot do anything. Oh yeah, because I already, 
Oh, could I have used the mystery key if I really want to? Yeah, I guess Mad Ton is my favorite character, so I'm I'm glad I used it for him, anyways. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, the little bird. Yay. We're all free. Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? It's broken out of the snow dog. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> Wait. Where dog? Please pet dog. I... I did. It was a great journey. There is the papyrus maze. Oh hey! Where are you? Huh. <laughs> I guess we'll have to go to the surface. He's wearing some glasses. There are woods out there we can live in, right? Um, I think. <gasps> ah! I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm? The barriers opened up? Hmm. Then, if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I'd really appreciate it. Do I still have it on me? <laughs> what if I just ate it? No, I'm not- I'm, I'm not that mean. I mean, as those, I probably can't tell them again. I just- I- I don't have the heart to just do that. It says, out to lunch? Okay. Oh! Oh, hey. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. <laughs> Cause, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke! Laugh at it! You're- you're fine. Uh, uh, wait. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. The doctor. She brought my wife back from the dead. My son. He seems happy again. Our family. It's bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say his line of, that's not funny. Hey, it's where we were from, like, the beginning. It's fishing rod to fix the ground. Well done. Let's attach this a note. Never mind, guys. Herbert, Ribbit. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? Very is open, too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? Jeez, okay, that's actually kind of... That's kind of mean that Toriel didn't even let them out, like, yeah, that's just kind of mean. I mean, she had her own grief, to be fair, but it had been years, like, and to take out on everyone else, like, and not let them leave, that does seem kind of selfish. So in some ways, she is a hypocrite. Hey, it's the frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try a relaxing shade of green for frogs. Nice. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? I don't know, did I? Ribbit, ribbit. Say, now your journey is over. Maybe you'll have time to listen to me? Since most people just skipped. Suppose some things never change. Pressing X. I suppose some things never change. Okay, wait. I want to actually do it without pressing X. Oh, it's so long! You've really matured, haven't you? Eh, yeah, maybe. There's an ant-sized frog in the crack in the wall that waves at you. Okay, then. Apparently, I have found the frog. The exit's open? Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? Oh, oh, I can't actually push him. Dang it. We're almost there, though. It's been a long trek. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a th thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. That's good. Take one. Take it, candy. Take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. Okay, I better stop. Wow! All the way back! <gasps> it's my fluffy boy! Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I 
just can't, okay? I'll talk to you, though, because I want to hang out with you, because you're my boy. I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me again. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebot are, s Ebot are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? I don't know why I climbed the mountain. I know why Axel climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Axel hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Axel. In fact, though you have similar uh, fashion choices. <laughs> striped shirt, well, I'm not wearing a striped shirt. I'm wearing a normal shirt, plain t-shirt. I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe, truth is, Axel wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. Yep. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you, Frisk. When Axel and I combined our souls together, control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted, and then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up with Flower. Frisk. So that's why he didn't run away immediately. Frisk, this whole time I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect de decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. That's beside the point. Oh, um, Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please... In the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember it like this, me like this, someone that was your friend for a little, a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowers out there. And not everything can be so resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill, and don't be killed. That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk. Don't you have anything better to do? Oh, okay. Bye, fluffy boy. Hello, friends. Okay, bye. Yeah, there's probably more I could have discovered, but for now, I'm happy. What? Oh. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out the underground. I'm ready. Let's see what lies on the surface, fellas. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better, better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live like this? You live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. <laughs> hey, Sans, what's that giant ball? You called out the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we 
we should really think about what comes next. Oh, so why do you have her in the moment? Oh, right. Everyone. This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? I mean, that's probably the best decision, because um, no one else really knows them, so... Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. Oh yeah, heck yeah, Papyrus. Let's go. I'll go make a good first impression. Um, maybe I should come with. Well, someone's gotta keep them from getting in trouble. See you guys. <laughs> this goes the wrong way. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Oh, it's just the three of us now. Whoops. Uh, should I do something? <laughs> well, gotta go. Oh, come on, Toriel, why do you gotta be like that? Seems everyone is quite eager to set off. Is it not? Oh no, did you make them leave? Frisk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you, as long as you need. Alright. Now, come along, since I'm not technically Frisk, like, like, if they had a reason to climb the mountain, it probably wasn't a good one. So, everyone is waiting for us. Still, I don't know why they want to keep progressing, though. I mean, technically, I was the one that progressed, but... I mean, what else can I do? Undertale, cast, oh. Am I supposed to press but some button? Frog it by Toby, Whimson, Whimson by Toby. Professional frog, braver every day. Mold small, backup dancer, reform the bully. Vegetoid in the gossip. Popular nutritionist. Casually enjoys life. Ups the book. Spooky DJ. Papyrus by Toby and Temmy. Hey. Sons by Toby. Cutting them off. Special inspiration. J and we do. Yeah, I don't know. Snow Drake by Magnolia Porter. Semi successful comedian. Thinking about his hat. Ice Cap. Gift Trot by Magnolia Porter and Toby. Fighting peace and quiet. Finding peace and quiet. Has his own seeing eye dog. By Toby. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Well, yeah, because Toriel and. Well, they broke up, but that's kind of depressing. Found a loving owner. Aw, excited by life's changes. Yes. Designed by Toby, armored by Temmie. Oh, oh, she's cracking the ground, and oh, it was onion song. You see here? It's onion song, you hear? By Tammy, reluctantly. Paranormal except investigator. Idyllic life on the beach. Legendary Janu Janet Janitor. Tammy. Tammy. I see. Change name to Angry Dummy. And Chiron is taking piano lessons again. Okay. Yeah, it's my favorite boy. 
Metaton. Special inspiration. Thank you to everyone who did that. He is my favorite. It's hard to do this with the mic, but... Encouraging Space Eater finally confesses. Good job, boys. Royal Guards. Use your imagination. Domineering Lassa Seller. The Core Monsters. Street Magician. with their families. What about the lump or the 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 head one? As scored by Toby. Monster Kid Oh he's trimming a hedge of papyrus. And Toriel. In my opinion goat dad is better though. for a big rogue the end. Uh-oh. Oh no. Ha 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 ha. Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Oh, I think I've heard of Yep. This is it. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, oh, frick. Thank you to all the amazing people who helped out in this amazing game. Toby Fox. I saw a mark in there. Wait. I also saw Daniel Wagner, who actually plays Asgore in Undertale the Musical. Is that specifically him, or is there just more than one Daniel Wagner? I don't know. I won't worry about it too much. Oh, I am bad at this. Yeah, I don't think I would have gotten this anyways. Ah! Yay! Oh yeah, that's a lot of touch credits. There we go. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us, and Undertale team thanks you from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. Now we have Delta Rune to worry about.
wait, why didn't I clap earlier? Yay, the end. Wow, how long has it been? Oh, almost two hours, jeez. Well, I guess that's gonna wrap up our series, guys. Unless I plan to actually do a genocide route, which I doubt, and why would I do that? That would be mean. Um, I actually have an idea of what else I'm gonna do with the game, and it's not also gonna be a neutral route, but I might actually play through the game again with, uh, someone. Maybe. I'm considering about it. And it might not be in recordings either, so... There's that, so... Oh! It's the dog. It's Toby. Because I know things. That's Toby. Um, also, if you if you came this far in the video and you liked it, then please spam that thumbs up with your thumbs up. Subscribe to me for some more um, whenever it comes out content. Share the video with friends, family, your local skeleton, monster, lizard, fish, fluffy buns, I don't know. Whatever works. And, um... Uh, was was it? Turn on notifications so you don't miss anything by me. And I'll see you later. Bye. -o!